In today's video, I'm rehousing my Nemesis Tarantula Stromatopelma calciatum. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you want to become a better tarantula keeper or just admire these amazing animals, make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. In today's video, I'm going to be rehousing my Stromatopelma calciatum that I picked up in a mystery box at the Seas Invert Show this year. I waited for it to molt out before rehousing it, and today is the day. Now let's see if it's gonna be flighty and feisty like you would expect, or nice and calm. Let's get on and do that rehousing. So here is my absolute nemesis of a tarantula. Stromatopelma calciatum. Now you may remember when I got the gimp box at the Seas Invert show, this was in it. It had missing legs. Since then it's molted and it has grown back those legs. Now you may also remember in a previous video, one of these got out and was roaming around the tarantula room for two days before it got caught. So I am not excited at all to be doing this rehouse, but I'm gonna try and do it as painless and easy as possible. Now I'm really thankful that I have got the tarantula room uh, catch tube, because hopefully that's gonna make this a hell of a lot easier and hopefully this is going to be stress free and a lot 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 easier than the last time I tried to rehouse one of these what I'm going to do is just try because this is not being very responsive and normally these are very very flighty tarantulas just try and get it out from being in that corner and up into the catch tube hopefully I can do that with as little resistance as possible these curly tongs so I can already see that this is going to be a little a little bugger but I'm going to be patient I'm going to take my time because I really 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 don't want this going wrong get a lot of this webbed up dirt out the way and that's it open yourself up but that's what I want to see right let's try this again shall we get rid of the webbing that's on the bottom of the tube it's like these tarantulas know like they know that they're going to give you some aggravation, buddy. Mm. 
okay still giving it <laughs> all right that flipping has to come out I think that webbing's going to have to come out. This is the problem with having circular cups and a square tube. It leaves a gap. But I'm not going to let it defeat me. Come on buddy, you've got a nice home to go into. Remove this whipped up dirt I think. That is getting in my way that is what's getting in my way and stopping me getting the best angle on it now I've taken that way that way and it's got nowhere to hide You go. That's it. Woo. And it's in the catch tube. Now, while it's hunkering in there, we're going to pop the end off it. And there, it is secured. My nemesis. Stromatopelma calciatum. That's only half the battle done. Because unfortunately, we now have to get it in the new enclosure. So here's the new enclosure it's going in. It's a 20 by 20 by 30 Exoterra. I've got it kind of set up like a bioactive, just to give it a bit more moisture and humidity in there. I'm just not adding the isopods in there. It has got spring towels. It has got a live little fern in here and a cork bark hide. It's very, very minimalistic, but that's all this tarantula needs. So we need to get it out and we need to get it in there. Do you know what? These make me more nervous than rehousing like Pisciferia or OBTs or anything of that nature. I hate it. But we're going to do it. So let's get it in there. Let's open it up. <laughs> I'm not panicking. I'm really not panicking. I'm just doing things for, for effect. Now let me just work out where this thing's abdomen is. Just so I know it's not going to run at me. When I try to stick it in the new enclosure. Unfortunately, the way it's sitting on this lid, I'm having to be very, very careful. So the last thing I want to do is drastically startle it and it comes running at me. Because these can be very bolty and very flighty. That's it, just take your lick off there. There you go. There it is on the lid. 
Now it happens sex this yet. This is unsexed. The malt was chewed up when it last malted, but as you can see, it's grown its legs back. So I do need to give it a little nudge, just so it goes up the cork bark nice and peacefully. That's it buddy, go on, don't make me nudge ya. Come on, nice and peaceful. Look at those colours. Absolutely stunning. Just a shame you're my nemesis. Nice and calm, come on. Nice and calm. There you go. It goes straight into the foliage. So there it is, just chilling in the bushes. Again, like the regardless video, I'm not going to go poking it about, I'm trying to get a better shot of it. It's just not fair on the spider to do that, and I don't agree when people do do that. But all in all, minus trying to get it out of the catch cup. That was a very, very smooth rehouse and a very well behaved Stromatopelma calciatum for once. So I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with how the enclosure looks. So I'm going to leave it there to get settled in. Enjoy. So there you have it a surprisingly calm and smooth rehouse. Now, this species. Whenever I've had one in the past has been very flighty, very bolty, very defensive and quite awkward to work with. But I think the key thing here was showing that taking your time and being patient was the key to the rehousing. Once I got the dirt and the webbing out of the way, the tarantula was quite easy to get into that catch tube. So I'm going to end it here. I'm going to leave the tarantula to get settled in. And that's it for the video. But oh, one more thing before we go. The channel has hit 4,000 hours watch time. So we have been monetized here at Robbie's Talking Tees. So a huge thank you. And also we are getting closer to the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. If you don't know what that is, at 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving one of you the chance to win a tea Celadonia. And if that's not enough, I'm also throwing in a Ferrophosa Apophysis. All you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Gramostola Rosea video, and just type T. Celadonia in the comments. Once you've done that, you'll be entered. Hopefully you're all running off now if you haven't done it already and subscribing and writing that comment. So a huge thank you for getting me monetized and huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. I'm gonna leave it here. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.